was pertinent. We are very excited to have you here. Go ahead and tell us about what's on the line here. So what's on the line here, we're playing for charity. It's $1,000 to the winner, to the charity of their choice. And so uh, obviously money going for a good cause. And there's a Uno prize pack going up for the person who wins. So you get to give a little and you get to get a little. So we're at the conclusion of round one of the tournament, yeah. and uh, well, how'd it go for you? I, you you did not end up moving on to the second round. No, yeah, Team IGN, we went down, we went down swinging. I mean, honestly, we all know it was just it's a racial thing. I mean, there's four white guys at the table, one fat guy in every team. Why is this other fat guy so much better than me? Why does he get all the good cards? So, do you think you're going to take this up with the uh, International Uno Council at the at the conclusion of this tournament? Oh, lady, this is the digital age. There's no at the conclusion of this tournament. I'm doing it right now while I speak to you. I'm Bluetoothing in. I'm on hold right now. Play the hand you're dealt. That's life. So now, who took you out? So, the Wild Stallions kicked us out, this little blonde lady here, and uh, her partner. I'm not gonna say they were playing dirty. They never, like, suspect me, because I'll throw out really bad poker faces. Just when they underestimate us, we pounce. Right. <laughs> like Wild Stallions. Okay. <laughs> they call themselves Wild Stallions, which was funny, because I, I swear that was the name that I gave my team, but but hopefully I'll meet them in the finals and then I'll crush their soul. We're here with the winners of the semi-final round, is that right? That's correct, yes. Congratulations, how do you feel? Oh, well, you know, it's for charity, so of course I'm really excited, you know. Want to bring home the bacon. Talk to us a little bit about the charity that this is going to. Uh, well, my little sister volunteers at the Boys and Girls Club, so um, I figured it would be good, good charity to give money to. Cool. So how did you guys go about training for this intense competition? We didn't train at all. You know, it was pure instinct and intuition, you know? There's those times in your life where you just walk into something and you know you're going to do well. Tonight we walked in and we just felt the win instantly. They asked who thought was going to win, we raised our hands, and here we are. Yeah, Luno, I mean, it's fun in real life, it's fun in video games. How can you lose? <laughs>